What's good, boxing fam? It's uh, Pool Count of Boxing coming at you with another one. Jameer Charlo, the uh, WBC and the WBA, WIVF Unified Champion, will be fighting WBO, Brian Costano. They'll be going head to head in a fight for unification. The fight will be July 17th and it's going to be on Showtime. Jameer Charlo, he's a uh, 34 and 1, 18 KOs. He won the uh, WBC in 2016 against John Jackson by KO. He defended the belt against uh, Charles Hatley and um, Eric Lubin and Austin Trout. He also he also lost to uh, Tony Harrison in a controversial uh, split decision. Then he fought uh, George Coda, who he knocked out. In the uh, third round, that was a good fight. Then um, Jamil fought Tony Harrison again. He reclaimed his uh, title. That was a good fight too. He knocked out Tony Harrison. You know who is his bitter rival? And uh, that was filled up. That was awesome. And then um, he went on to knock out um, Jess, Jetson Rosario, who was a unified champion of uh, the IBF and the WBA. And now, and um, he, you know, uh, Rosario, he um, won the belt off of uh, J. Rock Williams. Uh, J. Rock Williams was the unified champion of the WBA and the IBF, and uh, he knocked out uh, he knocked out J. Rock in the fifth round. And uh, Jamel came along and beat him in the eighth round. Knocked out uh, Rosario in the eighth round with a punch to the midsection. And he, and, you know, we sent him down to the campus, and he couldn't get back up. But that was a good fight, also. Now Jamez faced the fight. Brian Castano, 17, 17 wins, you know, zero losses. I mean, it's just, yeah, and one KO. Uh, he beat uh, Pax, Patrick uh, Texera, Texera. I think that's how you pronounce it, for the WBO belt. Well, this is as uh, good as a unification can get. And I believe that uh, that if Tony Harrison had anything to say about it, you know, about all this, you know, he would want that third fight after he beats uh, Brian Castano. But Brian Castano ain't no slouch. You know, he, he's a hard, no-pressure fighter. And uh, he will give Jamel a good fight until he don't. But that, that's why I picked uh, Jamel Charlo to win by KO in the fifth round. You know, uh, you know this fight here is, is going to be, you know, it's going to be a hard press fight. I, I think uh, Jamel is taking it seriously. He's always in shape. Um, Ron Costano, you know, he's just a title holder for right now. Um, but he is a good fighter. I mean, I'm not going to take credit away from him. But really, I'm interested in seeing Jamel defend the uh, defend the, the um, undisputed status against Tony Harris because I believe Tony Harris is a superior uh, fighter to Brian Costano, and I think that's his biggest threat right now uh, at 154 uh, is Tony Harris because his skill he was out boxing Jamel in that fight right up until he ran to that that uh, left hook that uh, Jamil has and um, took him out of there. But up until that point, um, Tony Harrison was out boxing Jamil Charlo. So that's what I think about it. This pool kind of boxing. You know, please subscribe, like, share, and um, I'll see you guys, you know, another time.